of guidance and assistance and help from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And all of us are in need of his forgiveness. And the Messenger of Allah alayhi salatu wasalam used to make tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself alayhi salatu wasalam more than a hundred times. Kama qala nabiyyu sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And he sallallahu alayhi wasallam said in an authentic hadith, Kulu ibn Adam khatta wa khayran khatayin tawabun. All the children of Adam, they make mistakes. And the best of those who sin are those who repent. Letting us know that we all have our share of sinfulness. Some of us will fall into the major sins. And some of us, the minor sins. And some, wallahu musta'an, will have their share of both. Alama bin Fuzan, hafidhullahu ta'ala said, Al-Umrah, Al-Umru, in kana qasirin fi ta'ati Allah fu huwa tawil. Wa in kana tawilin wa huwa fi ma'asiyati Allah fa innuhu qasir. Wa la baraka fihi, wa la khair fihi. He said, age, meaning the, the extent of a person's life, if it is a short life, but based on obedience to Allah, then that is a long life, meaning it has blessings in it. And if it is a long life, but it was full of sinfulness and disobedience to Allah, then very that, that is short, and there's no blessings in it, and there's no good in it. Allah Azza wa Jal says, فِي كِتَابِ الْكَرِيمِ وَالَّذِينَ إِذَا فَعَلُوا فَاهِشَةً أَوْ ظَلَمُوا أَنفُسُهُمْ ذكر الله فاستغفروا لذنوبهم ومن يغفر الذنوب لله ولم يسروا على ما فعلوا وهم يعلمون Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says في كتابه الكريم And those that when they, when they do a, a wicked sin like fahisha could be zina and all the other types of fahisha masturbation or whatever else related to those type of sins, or that they oppress themselves, then they remember Allah and they seek His forgiveness for their sins. And who can forgive the sins except Allah? And they do not continue on the things that they did and they are aware, meaning that they're aware of those sins and they don't continue to persist in those sins. Those are the ones Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive because they had toba to nusuha. They were repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with sincerity. And it is required from us, ayyul ahbab, to repent to Allah azza wa jal with sincerity, seek his forgiveness, ask for his favor, ask for his guidance, come to him. This is a beautiful time as this is the 10th of, uh, this is Yom, this is uh, Yom Ashura, this is the 10th the of, uh, of Muharram, and this is a time to come to Allah Azza wa Jal, seeking his forgiveness, seeking his favor, seeking his grace, seeking his bounties, raising your hands up to him and making seeking forgiveness for what you've done and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us all of our sins and bless us with ikhlas with thabat wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam